Um, so my question is regarding the equality among the Trinity. So um, in Matthew 28, um, verse 18, Jesus says that all authority is given to him and on the, in the heavens and on the earth. And then in John um, chapter 16, verse 13, it states that, but when the spirit of truth comes, he will, be, um, he will guide you into all truth, for he will not speak on his own authority, but he will speak on what he hears. So if the Holy Spirit spirit is God, why doesn't he have any authority to speak? Thank you. Uh, if, you look at, if you look at how um, the Gospel of John uh, is using these terms, it's the, the emphasis in these passages is not, is not uh, that the Holy Spirit is not God or that Jesus is not God. He's trying to show that they are one. Right? In other words, in John chapter 5, right? uh, M Muslims love to bring up John chapter 5, where Jesus says, uh, of my own self I can do nothing. Check, check. Is it working? He says, of my own self I can do nothing. And they say, aha, right there, which is parallel to the spirit doesn't speak on his own, on his, on his own authority. Right? If you look at what's actually going on there, um, at the beginning of John, I mean, er earlier in John chapter 5, because Jesus is calling himself the Son and saying that uh, he can work on the Sabbath because the Father does. Notice, Jews are not allowed to work on the Sabbath. Jesus says, but the Father works on the Sabbath and so do I. Right? When he said that, they accused him of claiming to be another God. Right? He's a rogue deity. Right? He's, a, he's separate. So... What he does there in the rest of John chapter 5, that's where he claims to, that he's the one who raises the dead at the resurrection. He says that he's the one uh, who is the final judge. And he says that um, we have to honor him just as we honor the Father. Right? So keep in mind, we have to, you would only honor someone the same way you honor the Father if he has the same nat nature and attributes as the Father. So when he says, when he says that he can do nothing of himself, or when the Holy Spirit does not, s not speak on his own authority, what these are saying is they don't do these things separately as separate deities from the Father, because that's the accusation. As soon as you start saying some things are divine, they start accusing you of saying there's other gods. So the emphasis is he doesn't do this on his own. All right, thank you very much, Dr. Wood. This comforter is the Holy Spirit who's supposed to be 100% God. Can you imagine a God who doesn't speak on his own authority? A God who has to be told what to say? He has to speak what he hears? I don't know about Jews, but that does not make sense to me at all. Uh, so Samuel, you said that the counselor is the Holy Spirit, if I'm not mistaken. But then how do you reconcile this with uh, John 16, 13, when it says, when the spirit of truth comes, he will guide you and into all truth. He will not speak of his own authority. So how can the, the comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, not speak of his own authority? Um, sure. Well, well my, my point was that, my point with, with that was, Jesus clearly identifies the, the counselor as the Holy Spirit. Okay, so that's the first, there's three steps to the answer. Jesus identifies the, uh, the Spirit as the, let me just get this here, uh, he, he speaks about the Holy Spirit as I, the counsellor. Um, I'm not going to find this, am I? Here we go. No, there it is. Uh, and so he speaks that uh, the Holy Spirit is the counsellor. And then what I showed was that the way the Holy Spirit is described in the Quran is basically the same as how it's described in John chapter 14. And so I'm saying that if we let the Quran tell us who Jesus is speaking about, that at basically every single point, it lines up with the Holy Spirit in the Quran. And so you could not go from the Quran and say, Jesus, uh, from the Quran, Jesus is speaking about Muhammad. If you go from the Quran, you'll say, Jesus is speaking about the Holy Spirit. The Quran has the Holy Spirit. The Bible has the Holy Spirit. They're described in pretty well the same way. That's what Jesus is speaking about. Now, the Spirit of God, uh, I see what the question is saying. It's saying if the Spirit is, is God, how can he not be speaking of his own authority? How come he doesn't speak of his own authority? Well, I, I think that's just the way that God reveals himself. He reveals himself through his Spirit. And so there is this, uh, there is this origin of the revelation coming from God, and he reveals it through his Spirit to us. And the Spirit is spoken of as the breath of God meaning that he's not created, 
right? When the spirit is the breath of God, it means he's not created. Uh, he's actually part of the very nature of God. He's of the same nature as God. And so this is how we understand uh, the, the spirit, that he's described not as being created, but as being of the same nature as God. And he has a role of being uh, the revealer and the inspirer of the prophets. And he brings that revelation uh, from God to us. Thank you. The paraclete does not speak in his own authority, but reveals what is to come. Now, Zachary said, well, you know, how can that be God? Each of the divine persons has chosen to take a different role in the salvation of the economy, and they do so willfully and freely. Come on, we don't need um, degrees to understand that God does not be told what to say, and God does not sp uh, speak on anybody else's authority. So please explain it to us, Dr. Way, if us Muslims don't understand things, then you can explain to everybody here how this role system works. Can you imagine a God who does not speak on his own authority? I can imagine a God who loved me so much that he entered into his own realm to give his life so I might live. That's an amazing thing to imagine. Can you imagine a God who does not speak on his own authority? No! 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 Can you imagine a God who does not speak on his own authority. No! Ahad in Arabic language means the one and only. Yes? There was, there's a difference between wahid and ahad. Wahid could mean something which is cardinally counted. There's cardinal numbers. One, the first, second, third, yes? Wahid, yeah, but Ahad can never be. So it means one and only.